Oh, my name is Brittany Hibbert, and I'm a senior at UF. I'm a history and African American studies double major. Um, I went with the Samuel Crawford Oral History Program, and this is year six of the Mississippi, Mississippi Freedom Project. Um, and it's a trip that takes about 10 to 15 students plus other faculty. Um, we go down to the Mississippi Delta, and we do oral histories of oral um, uh, veterans from the Civil Rights Movement, and we also talk to different members of different um, parts of the cities that we go to, like we've been to Glendora, Rosedale, um, Sumner, Mississippi, Macomb, um, so we've, did a, we've done a little bit of traveling in the Delta, which is cool, so we get to talk to people in all of those stops that we make. Um, I got to talk to um, talk to Dr. Yumoja um, Akinyele, and he's an amazing author um, and, and civil rights activist himself. I personally got to interact with uh, Margaret Block, who is a civil rights activist herself, she's still alive, and she's still in the Delta now, and she's just Amazing. It's powerful if you think about that being around someone who's a veteran of the civil rights uh, movement, who's still alive, to even be in her proximity, um, she's alive and to be able to go to her home was the first thing that really took me back. For those of you who don't know who she is, um, she was a, the field secretary um, for SNCC, um, which was a student nonviolent um, coordinating um, excuse me, committee. My name's Chelsea and um, I live in Mississippi. <laughs> We spent even more time, I would say, traveling with civil rights veterans, including Margaret Block, um, uh, Professor Akinyele Umoja, um, who I talked about last night in my presentation, um, people like that, who, um, who are some elders in the movement and, um, and know a lot more than we do, <laughs> just kind of traveling with them through. We did a bunch of driving tours where we visited um, we visited the courthouse where Emmett Till's uh, murderers were acquitted. We visited um, the town where Emmett Till was murdered. We visited um, the place where Fannie Lou Hamer died, the hospital that she passed away in. Um, Bessie Smith passed away in the same hospital. So just places where a lot of uh, kind of interesting figures from the movement had been. And on those tours had elders from the civil rights movement kind of explain to us what went down there, um, which is oral history, you know, because we're just driving yeah. around having people point that that house was bombed by the KKK, you know, yeah. pastor so-and-so was shot right there. Um, we put snipers on the roof of that church to keep them from bombing it, you know, really yeah. cool stories that you wouldn't, you couldn't get that in a history book. Maybe one of us will write a book one day about what we learned. History books are generally taught to develop good citizenry, whatever that means, and that's that you don't really challenge the system, that you don't critically analyze what's going on around you, that you accept the status quo because we're better than we were then, and it's this march towards progress that the United States, like, through time has become better, and now it's the best, so why challenge anything more? We're at a good place. That it wasn't just Rosa Parks not giving up her seat on the bus and then Martin Luther King saying the I have a dream speech and now everything's great. If it's taught like this, you can kind of understand how such a diluted sentiment could come forward when it's just progress and now everything's fine. Uh, I, got, I got a lot out of it, so it would be hard to pin down one, mm -hmm. like one message that I received.